subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Salesforce Certified Sales Cloud Consultant. Salesforce Sales Cloud Consultant program is intended for specialists, who have knowledge implementing Salesforce Sales Cloud solutions in a customer-facing role. Audience Description, Salesforce Sales Cloud Consultant. Salesforce Sales Cloud Consultants are involved in confirming their expertise, as cloud computing implementation consultants with a specialization in Salesforce automation. The Salesforce Certified Consultant has two to five years of expertise, as a senior business analyst, and has developed the skills outlined below. First, structured skill set for the consulting practice. Second, proficiency with the full project lifecycle of sales cloud implementations. Third, strong analytical and problem solving skills. Fourth, deep knowledge of the Salesforce product lines. Fifth, solid understanding of internet technologies and cloud computing. Sixth, solid understanding of data management and database concepts. Seventh, familiarity with software development lifecycle. Ability to First, design and implement successful solutions. Second, anticipate and mitigate risk. Third, meet and manage customer expectations. Fourth, increase customer confidence. Fifth, consistently deliver effective business solutions. Sixth, manage solution delivery and any issues that arise. Seventh, build solutions that are scalable and maintainable. Eighth, set up switch management practices to ensure long-term solution success. Ninth, troubleshoot and resolve issues. Tenth, prioritize and escalate customer issues. Now we will talk about basic exam details. Exam details, Salesforce Certified Sales Cloud Consultant Exam. Content, 60 multiple choice or multiple select questions and five non-scored questions. Exam time, 105 minutes. Passing score, 62%. Registration fee, 200 US dollars, plus applicable taxes. Retake fee, 100 US dollars, plus applicable taxes as required per local law. Exam delivery options, proctored exam delivered on site at a testing center, or in an online proctored environment. For the exam scheduling, click here. Prerequisite, Salesforce Administrator Credential. Course Outline. The Salesforce Certified Sales Cloud Consultant, CRT 251, exam measures a candidate's knowledge and skills related to the following objectives below. First, industry knowledge, which compromises 7% weightage for this exam. Second, implementation strategies, which compromises 12% weightage for this exam. Third, sales cloud solution design, which compromises 21% weightage for this exam. Fourth, marketing and leads, which compromises 8% weightage for this exam. Fifth, account and contact management, which compromises 13% weightage for this exam. Sixth, opportunity management, which compromises 13% weightage for this exam. Seventh, sales productivity, which compromises 9% weightage for this exam. Eighth, sales cloud analytics, which compromises 9% weightage for this exam. Ninth, integration and data management, which compromises 8% weightage for this exam. Let us now discuss about course outline topics in detail. Number 1, Industry Knowledge, 7%. It contains First, explaining the factors that influence sales metrics, KPIs, and business challenges. Second, explaining common sales processes and key considerations. Third, describing the common marketing processes and key implementation considerations. Number 2, Implementation Strategies, 12%. It contains First, determining how to facilitate a successful consulting engagement, plan, gather requirements, design, build, test, and document. Second, determining appropriate sales deployment considerations. Third, measuring the success of a sales cloud implementation project. Number 3, Sales Cloud Solution Design, 21%. It contains First, designing an end-to-end -end sales process from lead to opportunity to quote to close to order. Second, analyzing customer requirements to determine an appropriate solution design considering capabilities, limitations, and design trade-offs. Third, identifying an appropriate approach when designing the lead conversion process. Fourth, 
Describing the implementation considerations when designing a sales process. Validation rules, automation, record types, page layouts, and triggers. Fifth, determining when it is appropriate to include custom application development, or a third-party application. Sixth, describing the appropriate use cases for account and opportunity teams, and the effect on sales roles, visibility, access, and reporting. Seventh, explaining the capabilities and use cases for enterprise territory management. Eighth, explaining the capabilities, use cases, and design considerations when implementing orders. Ninth, explaining the capabilities, use cases, and design considerations of Salesforce mobile applications pertinent to the sales process. Tenth, explaining the capabilities and use cases for Sales Cloud Einstein as it relates to the sales process. Number four, marketing and leads, 8%. It contains first, explaining how marketing capabilities support the sales process. Second, recommending appropriate methods for lead scoring and criteria for lead qualification. Third, explaining the best practices for managing lead data quality. Fourth, describing the best practices for using lead automation tools and campaign management. Number five, account and contact management, 13%. It contains, first, explaining how the ownership of account and contact records drive visibility of related sales information such as opportunities, activities, etc. Second, explaining the various methods for establishing relationships between accounts and contacts. Third, explaining the impact of having an account hierarchy. Fourth, explaining the methods for populating and maintaining account and contact data using data enrichment tools. Fifth, explaining the use of cases and implications for implementing person accounts. Number six, opportunity management, 13%. It contains, first, determining how to support different sales process scenarios. Second, determining the relationships between sales stages forecast, and pipeline. Third, describing the relationships between opportunities to assets, product line items, and schedules, price books, quotes, contracts, campaigns, etc. Fourth, determining the appropriate forecasting solution. Fifth, describing the implementation considerations of multi-currency and advanced currency management on opportunities. Number seven, sales productivity, 9%. It contains First, determining the key features that help to enable and measure sales productivity and adoption. Second, identifying use cases and considerations for using email and productivity tools. Third, identifying the appropriate mobile solution to improve sales productivity. Fourth, explaining the use cases and best practices for using Chatter to enable collaboration in the sales process. Number eight, sales cloud analytics, 9%. It contains First, determining the appropriate report, dashboard, or reporting snapshot solution. Second, describing the implementation considerations of multi-currency on reports and dashboards. Third, determining permissions and access to reports and dashboards. Number nine, integration and data management, 8%. It contains. First, explaining the use of cases and considerations for integrations common to sales cloud implementations. Second, explaining the use cases and considerations for data migration in Sales Cloud. Third, analyzing the implications and design considerations of large data and transaction volumes. Fourth, explaining how integration facilitates the exchange of data between Salesforce organizations. Preparation Guide, Salesforce Certified Sales Cloud Consultant. Step 1, Review the Exam Objectives. First, and foremost before you begin with the preparation for the certification exam, make sure you are up to date with all exam info. What happens if, certification exams keep on updating with new technology coming every day? So, your first step should be the official website of Salesforce, and view, and match if you, and the website are on the same page. If not, then make sure you're equipped with all the new exam info that is out there. Step 2, Download the Exam Outline. After reviewing all the exam objectives, it becomes obvious to download the PDF file for exam outline. Make sure, you don't skip this part. As mentioned earlier, the exam outline is the most important part of any certification exam. You can easily locate the exam outline on the official website as well. Also, 
make sure to view if there are any important notice, you must be updated on any new changes. Step 3, Importance of Trailhead. If you are someone who has already qualified, and attained credentials with Salesforce, then you might know the importance of Trailhead. On the other hand, if you are a newbie, then let's put it out there. Trailhead is the most important aspect of your preparation guide, when it comes to Salesforce. With Trailhead, the candidate can review online documentation, tip sheets, and user guides, search for the topics listed in the exam outline section of this guide, and study the information related to those topics. Step 4. Get started with training course. Getting hands-on experience is the most important experience for exams like, Salesforce Certified Sales Cloud Consultant Certification. And, the only way you can achieve is through training course. You can easily get acquainted with training courses for the same. Nonetheless, Salesforce offers the candidate with quite a few options to choose from. So, head to their website, if you want to master your skills. We highly recommend training courses. The understanding here is not one-dimensional but rather viewing a problem from every angle possible. Step 5. Join the community, Trailblazer community. You know sometimes, we're stuck with some problem or the other. Well, we all are humans, and need an answer from some expert to any advisor. Don't know what to do then? Take it from us, join a community, and in this case join Trailblazer community. You'll thank us later, but this is the easiest way to get an answer to your problems. On joining the community, you can exchange ideas, ask and answer questions, join feature groups. Step 6. Practice tests for perfection. With all the mentioned training course and documentation, your last step in preparation must be going through practice tests. Now, the internet is filled with so much noise. Since practice tests are one of the crucial steps you must not skip while appearing for the exam, we recommend going through as many practice tests as you can. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.